Hello guys, my name is Yaakov Fein, and today we start uh, a little course in getting familiar with TypeScript. Actually, my colleague and I, we just finished uh, writing a book for Manning called TypeScript Quickly. And uh, this course, this course um, you can treat as if it's an illustration to the book or maybe it's a supplement for the book, but regardless of how you see it, you're gonna have this bunch of tutorials on YouTube. Plus, if you want, you can buy a book. If you don't want, you don't have to buy a book. But if you decide to buy a book, I'll give you a special code, secret code that only you and me know down there. TSTS quick, and it'll give you 50% off uh, of the price at manning.com only. Uh, I work for IT consultancy called Farata Systems. I do different things over there, but most of all, I like running training classes on software. As a matter of fact, I like learning uh, software as well. Do it all the time. I blog a lot at yakoffain.com. But let's start. Let's start. First of all, I go back to the book site. I'll show you at least so you have an idea what this book, this uh, course, this set of lessons, this playlist will contain. This book is, is split in two parts. The first part is just the syntax, all these different constructs of the TypeScript language. <coughs> if, if this is all you need, if this is how you learn, you just want to learn the syntax and don't tell me how to develop apps, then the first part is all you need. The second part is a bit more advanced. We will go through the code samples that are illustrating, that are illustrating the use of TypeScript while developing the app. So that will be like a more advanced part of the course. So let's not worry about it for now. I will be going through the first part of the book and I will be explaining you the material and will be running examples so you can do it as well. So once in a while I will just uh, looking at the, at the code, at the text actually of the book. So without further ado, let's start, let's start. Uh, why do you want to program in TypeScript and what is a TypeScript? That basically is a big question. What is the most popular language in the world? It's JavaScript. It's given. TypeScript adds types to the JavaScript, basically. It's a type system. Yes, it is a language, but you can think of it as a type system. In JavaScript, you cannot declare variables with types. JavaScript engine will figure out what the type of the variable is. In TypeScript, you can. What's good about it, uh, what's good about TypeScript is that types are optional. You don't have to take each and every variable of your existing project and assign type to it. You can only assign type to those variables that you need. That you need. It's a language that compiles to JavaScript. Actually, the proper word would be a language that transpiles to JavaScript. Transpiler is a program that converts a source code written in one language into the source code written in another language. Not bytecode, not machine code, the source code. That's why people use the word transpiler too. But compiler is more popular and I'll keep using Let's compile the TypeScript program into JavaScript. I'll keep using the word compiler, but technically transpiler would be the proper way to call it. JavaScript, uh, TypeScript is not the only, it's not the only transpiler. There is more than, uh, maybe not more, there are dozens of uh, languages that transpile to JavaScript. So what's the, what's the big deal with TypeScript? Why TypeScript is so popular? And is it? Is it? Uh, let's take a look at the Stack Overflow developer survey in 2019. Every year, developers from around the world vote. And in this, 
in this chart you see that TypeScript is number one already. It's higher than C++. What else can you say? Seven years old language. It's, it's great. There is a section in that survey, most loved languages. Look at this. TypeScript shares second and third place as with Python as most loved languages. So the language that people want to learn. I'm running training classes here in the USA and my typical audience is uh, enterprise developers uh, who knows either Java or C Sharp. So they know backend and the uh, typical Java developers doesn't like JavaScript. And you know why? Because it's difficult for them to learn. It's too forgiving. It allows too many different things to be done dynamically. And that's why they, they badmouth JavaScript, mainly. But when I see, when I teach TypeScript f to these people, they get it right away. It seems natural for them, it's, um, and they understand all these major concepts. In classes, interfaces, generics, all that is in those examples. So what's ma what makes TypeScript different comparing to other languages that transpile to JavaScript? Uh, several things. First of all, um, they stick to standards. There is an uh, ECMAScript standard of the scripting languages, and JavaScript implements this standard. ECMAScript, or ES, we call it. So ES5, or ECMAScript 5, is the most widely used standard. Pretty much 90% or 99%, maybe, of all websites that you see around are written using ECMAScript 5 spec. Starting from 2015, ECMAScript spec is released every year, annually. So in 2015 we had ES6, sometimes we call them ES2015. And next year we had ES7 or ES2016 and so on. But the major changes to the syntax were made in 2015. So ES6 is basically the, the big deal, the big deal. When I say major changes, actually this is wrong. Major addition to the language. Nobody can take a language which is that popular with so many apps written in JavaScript and start uh, replacing things and, or removing construct or deprecating things. So everything that was uh, released in the spec of 2015 is an addition to the language. It makes your life easier, you can make, you can write programs faster, uh, the programs are more readable, but it is addition. Also, the IDEs support TypeScript greatly. Uh, there is a special service, uh, TypeScript language service, and it's sitting behind the scene uh, in memory. And as you type, it checks that you type proper things. It gives you, it gives you intellig IntelliSense. So type ahead help. If you made a mistake, it highlights this uh, mistake immediately and shows you a decent description of what did you do wrong. So all these things are making TypeScript more popular. And the other important thing would be that um, there is this committee called TS or TC39. I, I think I made it wrong. TC39. This is wrong. TC39. So this uh, standard body takes proposals from around the world. You can send a proposal to include a feature into the language. And this proposal will go through uh, several stages until it gets approved. And it if a proposal to a certain feature made it to the stage 3, TypeScript creators will add it to the language. So you can get a new feature much sooner than it will be implemented in all these browsers. So you can use today the latest and greater features of the language that will be available 3 years from now in the browsers, in the JavaScript engine, in the browsers. And how this works, basically what you can do, you write a program using the latest and greatest syntax, 
in TypeScript, and then you can compile it down to ECMAScript 5, for example. If you believe that you, the users of your app will still use older browser that supports only ECMAScript 5, then you can compile it down to ES5 JavaScript version. If, it's, if your user base will go to newer browsers, you can recompile your code into ECMAScript 6 and so on. So this is how this works. So the bottom line is you get the best of both worlds. You can write today using the latest features of the language, which will be implemented uh, in, in two, three years from now. And you can compile it down and make sure that your code is executed everywhere, even on older browsers. So this concludes my first and brief introduction. In the next language, in the next lesson, we will start learning the language itself. Thank you for watching.